This is not good. 8.5% CPI inflation. What this means for you. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video. So let's get right into it. All right, now in this video, I want to talk about the latest inflation reading that was just released earlier today, showing a headline number of 8.5%, which seems pretty good, right? It looks like inflation is actually coming down. Well, not so fast. Let's actually get into it and dig into this report a little bit further because you're going to quickly see as I share all these numbers with you, that inflation actually continued to rise last month on all the essentials and the things that all of us buy on a very regular basis. So let's get into it and dig right into this report. All right, so like I said, this is in regards to the inflation number as represented by the CPI, Consumer Price Index. Now this number is released once per month, typically around the middle of the month for the prior month. So today we got that report earlier this morning for the month of July. So let's get into it and talk about all this inflation and what inflation did in the month of July. Here's what it comes down to. The headline number came out at 8.5%. Meanwhile, the last reading that we got about a month ago came in at 9.1%. So you can look at the numbers and think, okay, yeah, obviously the number last month was 9.1%. This month right now, it's 8.5%. Therefore, inflation is down 6 tenths of 1%. Well, that's the headline number, yeah, but again, let's not get faked out here. Let's dig into the report now and actually look at all the real numbers, things that all of us look at and the things that all of us buy on a regular basis, and you're gonna quickly find that prices continue to rise last month. So, all these people out there right now that are chanting, saying, oh yeah, inflation went down and we're on the right track. Okay, they're not telling you the whole truth here. It's all smoke and mirrors. Let me break down this whole thing for you and tell you the real truth behind all of this because they're not exactly telling that to us. Let's get into it here. All right, so as we dig into this report, there's many other aspects in this report than just like energy, right? So one other big factor of this report is actually energy. Let's be real. To be totally fair is uh, yet that yes, last month alone, energy prices and gas prices did go down. Okay, I'm being 100% fair right now. Yes, energy prices and gas prices did go down. In fact, gas prices in the month of July went down 7.7%. Uh, in fact, as of yesterday, the national average of one gallon of gas was $4.03. However, a month ago, it was $4.70. So yes, to be totally fair, gas prices did go down about 67 cents per gallon uh, in that one month time frame. That's pretty nice, right? Oh, which by the way, energy prices and gas prices are still up 44% year to date. In other words, since January 1st this year until present right now, gas prices are still up 44%. So I don't know, I guess take it or leave it, right? Does that sound very good? Again, I'm not gonna throw my opinions in here, but at the end of the day, they're still up almost 50%, 44% since the beginning of the year. So just putting that into perspective right now, right? All right, now let's dig into the report a little bit further. Let's talk about food for a second. How many of us buy food here? I'm not sure about you, but I'm not out in the woods every week, uh, you know, trying to find my food, right? Just being real with you right now. Maybe someday I will be, but right now I'm not. I go to the grocery store. Actually, I don't even go to the grocery store. Somebody else does. But the fact of the matter is we go out to the store and we buy our food right now, right? Rather than prowling around in the woods, we don't do that these days. I mean, some people probably do, and that's totally fine. But right now we go out to the, the, to the stores and we buy this, the food off the shelves. Here's what happened. Last month alone, food was still up another 1.3%. Did they tell you that much? Nope, highly doubt it. I highly doubt the people out today were talking about inflation, talked about food still going up another 1.3% last month. Well, that's what the report is showing. Food was up 1.3%. On average, by the way, this is a basket of food, which by the way, in order to determine how much food prices actually go up, they go out and they get a basket of different foods, right? They don't just go and buy, uh, buy you know, one product off the shelf. They get a basket of foods and they average the, uh, the inflation out across this basket of foods. That's what it comes down to. Now, however, let's break it down a little bit further here and talk about some specific foods because this is going to be a little bit surprising, but at the same time, it's probably not gonna be all that shocking because I'm guessing within the last month or so, I'm guessing just about everybody here has probably gone out to the store at least once, bought some food items, and you're probably seeing some of these price increases. If you think you were imagining something, no, nope, you're not imagining, you are 100% correct. Let's talk through the prices now. Boxed cereal. This was one that was specifically uh, targeted and uh, focused on in this report. Boxed cereal was up 2% alone last month. Get this, year over year, boxed cereal is up over 16% just in the last 12 months. 
How about this one? Chicken. Does anybody here buy chicken ever? Well, I'm guessing some people probably buy chicken. That's a very common item. Well, chicken was up nearly 2% last month alone. A year over year, chicken is up almost 18% year over year. Well, get this one. I hope you're sitting down. Eggs. Eggs were up over 4% alone last month. Guess how much they're up on an annualized basis, a year over year? You'll never guess. 38%. Eggs, just alone eggs, are up over 38% just in the last 12 months. So again, for those people out there right now saying, oh, inflation is coming down, it's looking good. Yes, uh, energy prices are coming down. Food prices are still going up at a pretty significant pace right now, right? So this is really sad and unfortunate because this is the fact of the matter and they're not telling us this stuff. This is, this is what is really going on right now, right? So... If you've been out to your store lately and if you've seen increases in prices on foods, yeah, it's the real thing. And this is likely going to continue as uh, we continue to see all these pressures on food and other uh, very common items that many of us buy on a regular basis, even though inflation and the headline number is technically coming down because it's mostly being driven by uh, oil prices and gas prices that are coming down at the pump. So at the end of the day, yes, that's still important. And maybe someday this will actually translate into food prices, but it's gonna take a little while and these food prices will continue to move on significantly higher for probably a bit longer, even though it looks like inflation is still coming down right now, right? So with that being said, this is what something, uh, this is the, the, the parts of the report that I wanted to share, share with you in this video simply because this is the fact of the matter. This is what is really going on. This is what the real report showed which by the way, if you wanna look for it, uh, if you wanna look it up yourself, by all means, go for it. You can just simply look it up. It was just released this morning. It is called the CPI Consumer Price Index. There's a, a variety of different numbers here within this report, and it shows that the breakdown of all this inflation for the prior month on all these different items, which also, by the way, shelter was up significantly as well. And again, rent prices, shelter, right? So what do we all need right now? Do we need gas? Well, you know, that's kind of arguable. Sometimes you could say yes, sometimes you could say no. Gas is one of these things that yes, we probably do need it, but at the end of the day, it's not as essential as food and it's not as essential as shelter. However, food and shelter are still moving significantly higher. Meanwhile, energy prices are going down. Again, you kind of see the, the divide here, right? So we're getting prices moving down on one commodity that we can use if we want to, not necessarily totally essential, but those things that are essentials like food and shelter are still moving up. You kind of see what I'm saying here? So again, that's why I wanted to break this down for you because even when I saw the headline number as it was being released this morning at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time, I thought I looked at it and I thought, that's great. But at the end of the day, it's just the headline number. Who cares? Let's dig into the report and look at all the real numbers behind all of this right now. So this, these are the real numbers going on right now. So. Anyway, I wanted to share this with you here in the video. So as we continue to move forward, going uh, going forward in the next couple months here, this is going to be something we need to continue watching very closely as well. We will also need to watch the Federal Reserve and see what are they going to do with their interest rates and their policy with their next meeting here in about a little over a month's time is the next time that they meet. It's about five weeks from right now, actually, is the next time that they're gonna be meeting and they're gonna be determining what are they going to be doing with interest rates? Are they gonna jack them up another 75 basis points? Are they possibly going to go 100 basis points or are they possibly going to tame it down to 50 basis points? The fact of the matter is we're still sitting at, even if you look at this number, the headline number, 8.5%, even if you look at that number and you consider where the Federal Reserve wants to be, they want to be at 2%. That means that they need to shed this uh, inflation by 6.5%. So, you know what I mean? So it's still gonna take pretty aggressive measures here to bring this inflation down to where they really want it to be, that focused range of about two to 2.5%. Two That's what they've said. So if they truly do want to achieve this goal, it's gonna take a significant amount of time to actually get this done because if they're bringing it down, say six tenths of a percent for say every single month, I'm just saying, just for example, let's say that they bring it down for six tenths of a percent every single month, the headline number every single month, it's gonna take them, um, what? We need to bring it down another six and a half percent. It's gonna take them another 11 months to bring this down from where we're currently sitting as of right now at this pace, just saying. So we're gonna be in this for a long time. This is a long road that we have to, uh, ahead of us right now. Even though we continue to see all these reports out there, all these talking heads on TV coming out saying, oh yeah, this is gonna be coming down. We'll see inflation at 2% in three days. It's not happening. There's no way it's not happening. Unless the Federal Reserve gets super, super aggressive and they crash this economy super fast, then maybe we could see this inflation come down a little bit faster. But at the current pace right now, 
we're looking at at least another 10 to 11 months of this before we could potentially see any type of reprieve on a kind of a pretty big basis, right? So you kind of see the numbers that I'm looking at here? Anyway, we'll have to continue watching this. And again, this is just one little blip, right? Maybe next month, we're right back up at 9.2%. It could, it could happen, seriously. So anyway, a lot of this is going to be indicated by energy prices. And one more thing I wanna throw out there as well. Yes, to be again, totally fair. Uh, these energy prices are very important to watch because as I've mentioned before, what is very important about energy prices? Well, number one, it all translates into gas prices and of course, diesel prices. Diesel being very, very important because how does all that food and the items that we buy at our stores, how does it get there? Well, it's probably getting there on a diesel powered truck, right? That's typically how uh, products are getting there. Maybe sometimes it's a different uh, form, but in most, almost all cases, it's being transported to the store by probably a semi that's running on diesel. Well, if diesel is still sitting at say five and a half dollars a gallon or thereabout, well, that's gonna be translated into the prices of all the products that we buy on our food, on our store shelves. So if we continue to see energy prices coming down, as in gas prices, and most importantly, diesel prices, eventually it will translate back into the products that we see on our store shelves. But at the end of the day then, is all of a sudden we need to look at what's going on with the food supply. If food supply is limited, well then guess what? Basic economics 101 would tell us supply and demand, right? If demand is high and supply is limited or it's non-existent, guess what? Prices must go higher. Simple economics 101. So it all comes down to energy prices, diesel prices, because that's how it's gonna be brought to our stores. And at the end of the day, we need to look at specific uh, supply and demand when it comes down to the foods that all of us wanna buy. Kind of see how this is all intercorrelated? Yeah, it's very, very important. So. Anyway, hope this gives you a little bit better perspective as to the inflation number that was released earlier today, as well as a little economic lesson. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I like to share that stuff with you just every so often so you can see the real metrics behind all this stuff, even though you know we're always led to believe that it's all these other factors. No, it's supply and demand. Supply and demand is what indicates and dictates the price of literally everything. It could be gas, it could be housing, it could be cars, it could be bubble gum, it could be uh, macaroni and cheese, literally, it does not matter. Supply and demand is what indicates the price of literally everything. So anyway, hope this one helps you out and gives you a better perspective as to what's really going on right now. If you see all the headlines out there, if you see the talking heads, if you see the commentators coming out saying, oh, this inflation is coming down really good. Really? If that's the case, then show me your grocery receipt and tell me that it's not still going up. Because according to this report, the report right out of the BLS, Bureau of Labor Statistics, has shown us right here that food prices have continued to move higher. So they said it themselves. I'm just reporting the news. Anyway, hope you're doing well. I appreciate your support here on the channel. I am here for you in any way that I possibly can be, which is why I am doing everything I can to give away wads of cash, as well as send out as many packages as I can to those of you here in this community, which by the way, when I say community, I mean literally, if you're watching this video and if you're part of uh, this channel, as in you've subscribed, you're sharing the video, you're commenting, you're just watching this video, you're part of the community. So I'm doing whatever I can to send out all this kind of stuff to you guys here in the community. I know it's a tough time right now and I do what, wanna do what I possibly can to help and to give back to this community in any way that I can. So again, thanks so much for your continued support. Please subscribe down below. if you have haven't done so yet, share the video with your friends, family, social media, and make sure to stay tuned as there's going to be a lot more reports coming out. There's a lot of good information hitting the wire right now, and uh, I'll continue to keep you posted. So check out those other videos here, share them with your friends, family, social media, and of course, make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Thanks again. Enjoy your day, and I'll catch you again later in the next video.